As I mentioned, poverty, the building poverty infrastructure. structure. Definitions first, welfare programs, sectoral procedural, social efforts, the health happenings and fortunes of a person or group. This idea includes the sectoral procedural, social efforts, designed to promote the basic physical and well being of people in need, such as health care coverage, compulsory education, B, financial support for people in need, such as medical care, unemployment benefits, work injury. Second, public infrastructure. Government owned infrastructure used by the public. Third, poverty, the lack of physical well being and mental health. Divide absolute poverty, a condition characterized by the several deprivation of basic human needs, which according to the CNI has been completely removed in China now. Relative poverty, the condition in which people lack the minimum amount of income needed in order to maintain the average standard of living in the society they reside. Mental poverty, an uneducated state of mind. For example, low education level or period of poverty. First, basic human needs based on Maslow's hierarchy of needs theory considered separately for absolute poverty, food and shelter, which as said before, has already been solved for relative poverty, education, health care, a fixed, elevating poverty, one if two people out of impoverishment, and a two prevention of poverty. A framework, which a few things to clarify, we do not deny the benefits and the importance of infrastructure. Only that now, as up on this stage, we must increase the expanding on welfare rather than infrastructures. Second, welfare does not equal software infrastructures. The functions of software infrastructure are included within welfare as welfare helps to meet basic human needs as defined before. Third, though welfare and infrastructure need coexistence to maximize benefits, we are to choose only to increase one side during this debate at this very moment. Fourth, we need to achieve long-term poverty alleviation. For our opponents to win, they must first the usefulness of proof further infrastructure increase without the support of welfare up until stage. Second, provide persuasive explanations and abundant reliable evidence, otherwise we win this debate. Contention 1, lifting people out of impoverishment, especially women. Part 1, according to a study from Beijing University Law School, sanitary pets are licensed for female. Yet according to Zhi Yan, 25% women in need of sanitary pets are those using sanitary pets. Welfare should cover for this, at least sanitary pets ought to be on tax and part two, welfare that allows cover for housewives, meaning they have no source of income from the globaleconomy.com. The female labor participation rates have been decreasing from nearly 33% in 1990 to 60.45% in 2019. Contention to welfare country went to impoverishment. Medical insurance Ebola has covered a large number of people with over 95 per, um, participation rates. Yes, the treatment phase or serious illness like cancer are those covered. It's called some family in which are those poor originally get into the poor and aiding souls to enjoy it to some family in which are those rich at first. And, and that's way we from. Why does we affirm we should increase the more spending on public on welfare programs so that we can alleviate the poverty more effectively? That's all, thank you. Trends ready? Who's ready? Sure. Fine. By time starting now. We negate the resolution. According to the Wall Street Journal 2019, upward of 90 to 99 percent of China's impoverished population either lives in or comes from rural areas. Remember, on the cost of benefit analysis, each team have to prove the programs are more effective than the opposite and are underfunding in the status quo. Otherwise, they can dismiss the resolution. Definition. First, infra infrastructure. According to, according to the MBN, infrastructure refers to the material engineering facilities that provide public services for social production and the residents' life. Infrastructure includes transportation, water and power supply, environmental protection, public service, education and public service facilities. Second, po poverty. According to the Atlantic Press, the core feature of the multidimensional theory of poverty is understanding poverty as a lived experience and thus defined not just by low income but also by illness, illness insecurity, discomfort, isolation and a lack of agency. Condition 1. Implements on the transportation system can affect with can effectively alleviate poverty, bring to infrastructure and the poverty reduction. What is the connection? The number of the study point out to 
to a significant impact of the road on poverty reduction through economic growth. In particular, the time saving to reach habitable places of destination were, were highly significant for the poor with 40% of the household. Due to the COVID-19, the unemployment in rural, in rural areas increased dramatically, but the chances of the trade are decreased to 65%, which even enlarged the possibility of fell into the trap of poverty. Therefore, we should connect city and rural area through transportation. Our solvency tend to be, first, make more, make more transportation to be used between the rural and the urban area. Second, use the labor-based theory to hire more workers to work on the infrastructure. According to the RMIT, Dongland County is the key county of poverty elevation and development in the new stage of the county. And infrastructure construction is the prerequisite of poverty elevation and economic development in the Dongland County. Acceleration the construction of roads in village will lay a solid foundation for Dongland to fight against the poverty. Since 2016, Dongland County government have vigorously promoted the construction of the Violet Le Level Road with 560 village level roads, totally 720 kilometers. According to statistics, from 2016 to 2019, 71 poverty striking villages in Dongland County have taken off their he heads, and, and 70,000 have lived have lived 67,000 people out of poverty. Another two, infrastructure elevate poverty by education in high affected. Some point A, a lack of educational resources. According to the Rochester Business Journal, the root of cause of poverty is a lack of education. Those living below the those living below the poverty line will also be more likely to keep their children out of, out of school, which means that their children will also have a greater chance of living of living in poverty, which will create a vicious cycle for their generations. The only way to bring this cycle of poverty is education. First, we'll tell you that a key reason to low education quality in poverty stricken area is that there is a shortage of qualified teachers in rural areas. In an interview with the Borgen Project, stressed that the, the poor educated resources is the largest problem that children face. This poor teaching quality, combined with the crammed classroom and the lack of technology, sets rural children up for failure. This poor teaching quality combined with the, and, and poverty infrastructure in education not only includes the establishment of the school, but also the resources and the services that can be supplied to children, such as first, provide training for teachers and elevate poverty through employment. Second, establish more than distance learning stations for key counties of poverty elevation. Third, implement poverty elevation projects through education. According to the CNKI, as a state level poverty striking county, Pingwu <coughs> County has made great efforts in actively exploring poverty elevation through education by funding teaching quality. They have been lifted out of poverty in May 2019. Thus, we believe that the government should increase spending out of public infrastructure in order to get a higher effective way to out of the poverty. We urge your firm combat firm combat. Thank you. I'm sorry, we need 20 seconds per time. Question: Do you think teachers are things, or maybe do you think teachers are facilitates? Facilitate. Yeah. Do you think teachers are? So I know this might be to ask you a question. Sure. Uh, so okay. So could you please finish? Could you please I'm answer sorry, this question first? I asked. Yes, facilitates. So my my question is, uh, like, how okay, many persons in China? Is, I'm sorry. Do not interrupt okay. me. Okay. Sure. So how many percentage of of poverty in China is due to lack of a sanitary pad? Okay, for the sanitary pricing, we have mentioned that the sanitary pricing, the, there are so many women, they lack of sanitary pricing because lack of money. But, uh, but even though uh, we cannot uh, provide I mean, a pre previous number or maybe percentage of women who lack of sanitary pricing, but you cannot ignore them. I'm sorry, number, like statistics. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we'll touch on upon this question. 
But for your first, for my first questions, I want to mention that the welfare, it, the training is included into welfare, and also you, you can know think teachers or facilities. Okay, judges, as you can imagine, could you please let me finish it? Okay, judge, as you can imagine, if teachers or facilities, I think they are they don't have life, but teachers are humans. I'm sorry, you human. ask too much. So how can you prove that the uh, training of the teacher is included in welfare? Like we have mentioned that as in our definition. I'm sorry, giving us the definition. Yeah, thank you. Okay, my definition is welfare program, statutory procedure, or social Actually, evidence, like source, where it come from? Obviously, for the dictionary, you can check it. <laughs> now. Thanks. So, I will mention the question. Okay. So, uh, so your first contention and solvency does not actually extend to large number of poor people in China, right? Yes. So, why, well, why is it important? Do you? So, pardon? Why is it important if it is not extended into China? Yeah. What's what is it about? Why is not? Why is it important if it is not extended to the large poor people? Um, I think. I'm sorry, you can answer your question. Yeah. My pardon, we are touch on. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Ask your question. Okay, and uh, another question for you is that. Um, you mentioned that the uh, the the highways, right? No, I'm. I'm oh no, I'm, you mentioned that. No, I do not mention the highways. Highway. I mentioned the transportation system. Yeah, yeah, transportation system. Yeah, sure, but yeah. do you? Have, but according to our evidence, we have proof. My partner will just uh, prove that the transportation in China now is is encouraged, uh, so no, covered, covered, yeah. covered yeah. very widely. And according to China News dot com, China has achieved the village to village of size. Should I answer your question? So we are okay. not talking about we are going to establish. It's not only transportation, we're going to make it use again But it's transportation now in China is enough So maybe we don't need to increase the benefit Sure, you're being aggressive, so sit down During the previous crossfire, first, we, my partner questioned them whether teachers are things. They answered no, and then they they questioned us. I want to elaborate on that. What we are saying is that they they attempted to include teachers in infrastructure, but teachers are human beings. They're not things. You cannot say that they are infrastructure. And the education provided to teachers so that they can actually become teachers is included in welfare programs because the poor they can. They are made up the same as we are. We we are all the same. We are all humans. They have they have the right to have education. This is why our education programs cover for them and thus providing teachers with the future, which is long term poverty alleviation, because they can teach future students and they have a job. Now let's. Uh, the second clash point was about like they questioned us about the women's numbers. They must have not paid attention during uh my when during my partner's speech because we read that like um. According to a study from Perkin University Law School, sanitary pads are a necessity for female, yet according to GN, 25% of women are in need of sanitary pads are not using sanitary pads. They cannot afford sanitary pads. And why should this be included in this debate? Because uh, a, woman's expenses on, a woman's expenses on sanitary pads range from 200 yuan to 1,000 yuan a year. China has a population of 6 million people with a monthly income of 1,000 yuan. That means these women, they cannot afford sanitary pads, or if they could, they would not use 200 yuan out of 1,000 to buy sanitary pads. They would think that clothes or food would become like priority. Now, let's go over their contentions. Their contention one was about, trans was about transportation. My partner read the evidence from ChinaNews.com that China has achieved village to village access in 2020, which means we do not need to build more highways or, uh, or roads or anything of the such. Public transportation. 
transportation. We do not need to build, to build more. In this debate, we are debating on right now, choosing between increased spending on welfare programs and public infrastructure, only public infrastructure, which should we choose? We are saying welfare programs because public infrastructure, they are doing perfect. They, we have read evidence that China has increased to build to village, village access, meaning you do not need to, create, to invest more to build more roads. Now, your second contention was, uh, was about education. This basically leads back to our class point one during Cross Fire One about where teachers think. Teachers, the supply of teachers, the good quality teachers, this should be included in the welfare and the, and the funding for education so that the students can have education. This is also included in the welfare because the poor they cannot get to school. Nine years compulsory education, no, it is there. There is still a 60% dropout rate. If you, if you should check the rent, you can have a late check later. Um, let's go over, let's go back over our contentions. Um, one, of, one of our, one of the two main points of our framework was that one we're debating on right now, two things between welfare programs and infrastructure, which one should we choose? The second one is long-term healthy alleviation. And the roots, as I mentioned during their contention to uh, part two, I think, was that education is, the, is like the root of poverty because you do not have good education, you cannot get a good job, that is the root of education, root of poverty, and we can solve that because we fund the students and we fund the teachers and we fund the unemployed so that they can be trained to get a better job in the future. They can actually be be employed and have income. Our contention, our contention one was building women's basic needs. Our subject, our part one was about standard pass. I read the evidence about how many women cannot afford standard pass or are not using standard pass, whereas this is a basic human need for women, according to Kirby University Law. And part two was about uh, covering covering for housewives. Because being a housewife is a choice of career. This should be considered as a choice of career. We sh government should fund this. The housewives should have income so that they can have self-respect. And this is, this is reducing mental poverty because they have self-respect. Um, and our contention to do was about welfare can, can prevent impoverishment because of um, physical examinations and um, of such. Uh, Our 
research has clearly indicated that the operation of debug systems has minimal effectiveness of eradicating poverty in rural areas. And since now, right now in China, poverty in rural areas accounts for, as my partner has said, 90 to 95 percent of poverty in China. We should really focus on rural areas here, okay? And then the rural debug pro program, according to a paper published by the China Economic Review in 2020, has severe problems with targeting efficiency and yields significant negative social re rates of return. This is because of three reasons. Number one, mistargeting. The selection of an individual in the debug program in rural China is almost random, okay? And it's not determined by the poverty status of the individual. At the village level, debug houses were not means tested. So, for instance, in North Shanxi, okay, the recipients are selected by counting out income ranks from the highest to the lowest and choosing from the poorest. And in Wuhan, right, villagers decide the allocation of debug through voting. Through voting, guys. It is not through how, how poor the people are, but through voting of villages that we decide who gets the debug program. Do you think this is actually effective in elevating poverty? Out of the 62.79 million of the poor people, only 7.19 million are actually program manufacturers in rural China. And DBA excludes 87.89% of the poor from receiving any benefits. And this is a high degree of exclusion error. Even more surprisingly, of the total number of 42.72 million manufacturers, 35.11 million are the non-poor population, which indicates that there are 82.2% of missed targeting. Thus, the program actually fails to target the poor people, and it, instead of trying to alleviate poverty, it is actually increasing the inequality between the poor and the rich. Now, number two, high running costs. Official state statistics for China's rural development program reported that the total transport going to Deba from all levels of the government was approximately 87 billion yuan. Okay, given the amount of actual transfers to manufacturers, it is 19.8 billion. And to non-transfer costs, the program is approximately 67.2 billion. This is an extraordinary running cost, which equates to a spend of 3.4 yuan in administrative costs. Thus, DBA is highly ineffective. Thank you. Is this an English street or not? Yeah. Okay, then why aren't why isn't Oxford a reliable source for definitions? Why is it not? Um so first of all we're talking about alleviating poverty in China, right? Uh, and yeah, so but you argued in your rebuttal about definitions, yeah. so we should Yeah, okay, it, yeah. We're we're arguing about development and alleviation of poverty in China. So yes. like, we should yes, also in China, but yeah, this we is should, an English we debate should, where the, okay. you should consider a word the definition from the actual language it comes from. This is an okay, English so, debate. So you can, can you tell me? Can you, yeah. Can I'm you just trying to explain yeah. that our sources are reliable okay. and okay. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. I thank you. Let me ask my question now. Continue. Okay. Thank you very much. So can you tell me why is Oxford Dictionary more uh, credible than China State Council? Because it's Oxford. It's yeah. Like, can you go tell me why? Just because. Tell me. Okay. This. Once why again, is this it more is an like English debate? Why? We should focus on like. Not focus on. We should rely on like English sources for the definitions uh, of English words. They I'm use sorry, China Council or something. But yes, this is China. We are considering this. We are considering this debate in China. However, this is once again an English debate. Do not use the situation of. Do not explain we should use Chinese sources just because of the, it's debating about things in China because it is an English debate. Now, if I should ask you a question. Once again, why, okay, does your definition for infrastructure, is it um, infrastructure or infrastructure? Because during your case, you kept talking about how infrastructure was divided into southern part, however, we're debating on public infrastructure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're talking about public infrastructure, okay? But and then that's literally soft infrastructure, infrastructure and hard infrastructure. During their, so, during their debate, I'm oh, sorry, during their case and their rebuttal, 
whenever they talked about their definition. Yeah, I think you're being a little bit aggressive here. You're not allowing me to talk. You're just talking constantly. I'm sorry, but I think it's actually my my turn to ask the question. I'm sorry. I think it, it's my turn to ask a question. I just want to ask a question. I mean, this is a debate. So yeah. Um. So can you please still provide a, a specific percentage of population that actually like is in poverty due to a lack of sanitary pads? Just provide me with a number. Okay. They misunderstood our misunderstood our point. Our point was that women. Women not having sanitary pads, this leads to their physical poverty. Just because they have like... Okay, so tell me like a specific case. A specific I case. you must have not case. No, like tell me how many percent of the poverty in China is due to women lacking sanitary pads. You're not explaining how many are caused, how, how much poverty are caused by yeah. lack of sanitary pads. But don't you think We're that... saying okay. that this is a basic human need for women and that mm -hmm. they, this needs to be met because okay. first, to our traditional thoughts, we think that yes, uh, housing and eating and drink, this is... Okay, yeah, I understand your However, point. I understand, okay. You're, You're not really allowing me to speak, but okay, that's fine. I, excuse me, John, I want to change a timer. It doesn't work. questions, but they don't want to answer these questions 
And so it will lead to over class uh, over fifth class points in the above sanitary pies. First, now I want to illustrate it. Note sanitary pies, cows and cows. I mean, there are so many women in China now can not afford sanitary pies. It's the main problem. It will cause them face um, physical poverty and also mental poverty. Because because, and because of PRL shaming, and also the, for the physical poverty, because they uh, we have provided the evidence to prove that they have to spend much more money on it, but most but their salary is too low to afford it. So I think uh, I think our opponents don't get our points, and they don't understand it. And now I want to back to our definitions. The welfare programs means that statutory procedure or social efforts designed to promote the material and um, basic and and material well being well being of people in need, such as healthcare coverage and compulsory education. So as you can see, the welfare can provide enough medical insurance the, to the poor people. And also, if we increase the spending on it, it can actually meet the basic needs of women's rights. That's all. Thank you for your listening. So guys, you ready? Are you ready? Okay, my time starts now. So in this whole debate, we mainly have four clashes. The first clash is about definition clash. So in this in this case, like um, uh, my partner has said that um, my partner has said ha have said that we should prefer our definition because we are our defini definition is from Chinese Chinese website are, and we say that we do not we didn't deny your definition but uh, what is uh, what our opponent said is is undoubtedly very irrational because they said to say that this is the English debate so we should use English word we should use the English definition and um, we we can agree that but why can't we use the Chinese website so um so this is actually a, a, a little bit uh, out of, out of topic so the second the second question in this debate is about the transportation system in this case our opponent didn't listen to listen carefully to our contention very carefully we didn't say that when we, we will to like establish more transportation who will make that who will make the transportation that underused to be used again because nowadays we know that there are like 75% uh, of the uh, transportation is already covered in the China but there 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 also like uh, underused like uh, the 65 we, we mentioned our we mentioned and uh, the statistics and the data in our contention the 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 trade uh, is decreased by 65 65% so our point is like to make the tra transportation system to be used again. So let me this our point. The third class in the debate is about the uh, housewife. So my partner has asked them uh, indeed how much people fall into poverty due to the leak of the sanitary pad. But they didn't answer this question directly. The data, the statistic, they didn't, they didn't provide neither. So the fourth, I'm sorry. The fourth clash in this debate is about oh yeah it's it's about the rules of the poverty like in this case in this debate we have to find the rules that's the uh, rules of the factor that's uh, uh, that's um, leads into the poverty so in this case just uh, in our just, just we provide the rules of the rules of the factor that, that leads to poverty so in this whole debate it should based on our like the rules factors and. And um, instead, they focus on the sanitary paths and housewife. But um, but if we focus on our topic topic again, we will find that uh, we, we need to find a way that more effective to implement to implement all, all of it. So um, so we believe uh, our implement have bigger impacts on poverty alleviation with no doubt. For all this, we urge a firm combat. Thank you. Judges writing, opponents are writing, opponents are writing. 
Collins ready? Okay, time starts now. I think we will ask you, I, I'll ask you the first question. Do you think if we just need establish the new transportation and now the old transportation can be used again? Uh, we're not talking about that. Like I don't. I think you have missed our points like multiple times. First of all, the, we literally said two points on this, and you literally not you did not listen to any of this. First of all, we said that like a lot of roads they are actually not in use right now because they're damaged or they're ineffective. So we want to improve these roads so that they can become more effective and more, and they they will be in, so then the trade can. Uh, sorry to bother you, but can you can you let me finish my sentence? I'm sorry, I think um, I get your point. Uh, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we, 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 to finish yeah, your yeah, point. Yeah, we have to uh, ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, we have to ask you a question now. Okay, what's so, your question? Um, so you always said that like, oh, how like sanitary pads is very important. But again, you have never really proved any statistics well, on this. Judge, and how many, how much percentage not, of poverty in China is actually due to sanitary pads? They have not pod. understood our point. Mm -hmm. What we're saying, okay, this debate topic is about alleviating poverty. Poverty isn't exactly defined in this debate topic. We defined poverty into several branches. Extreme poverty, relative poverty, period poverty. Period poverty is is what is the poverty we're alleviating. Okay, yeah, so how do you more of it has? How do you not finish? finish it? They keep mis misunderstanding our points, and they keep changing what we're actually saying. They say that I don't think Chinese Resource, uh, Chinese sources for definitions are reliable. I never said that. I merely said that this is this is an English debate. We are speaking in English, so we should use definitions that come from English sources instead of Chinese sources. This is what I mean. I'm not saying like in life you can't use Chinese sources. I'm not saying that. I'm not attacking China's like. Yeah. And by the way, George, as you can imagine, okay. if like they said before, the okay. sanitary pads will I'm sorry, could you ask, I mean, I'm Oh, sorry, ask could you please let me finish the response? Calm down, calm down, calm uh, down, please. You, you could you please let me finish okay. yet? Okay. By the way, George, okay. as you, you can, can imagine, if the sanitary pads will come need the people, need the women into poverty, I think, you according you to their thoughts, I think their thoughts is totally wrong. So what's your question to us? You're kind of really aggressive. Okay, so... Calm down, please. Okay, so first of all, do you agree that we're talking about how effective are our solutions, right? Yes, so if, exactly. if, if the fact that sanitary packs, it doesn't really extend to a large population, how do you think it's effective? Um, just, but this is not a numbers game, this is about caring for yeah, people. It's we, those are numbers numbers game. we have presented like 25% okay. of the women who need sanitary packs, they're not using sanitary packs. Okay, so we, this well, what is really, yeah, yeah, well, this, yeah, how this is it made about poverty? This is a sure. debate about poverty, okay. is it not? We explained that there is a type of poverty called period poverty. Our, okay. our so sanitary pads are this, um, this point directly linked to period poverty. We are directly solving this point. We are talking about it directly. You guys are not letting us speak again, but okay, yeah.
for us because here are the points. First, our main, one of our, our main touch points was, our, was about definitions. I want to explain again. I do not say that Chinese sources are not reliable. I'm just saying this is an English way. Everything is explained in English, understood in English, and expressed in English. This is why we should rely on an English uh, source. And Oxford is a reliable English, English source. Now, um, they completely dropped our points on housewives, which is our contention one. Uh, so we, um, we we explained that housewives need to be turned into an actual job so that they can they can be like mentally healthy because they can have self self respect. Like I am making like a housewife thing. If I have money and income, I'm making money. I'm actually doing a job. I'm supporting my family instead of just like I have to rely on my husband. That would cause them to be depressed. Um, and they never actually attacked our contention to about medical coverage. They kept talking about Diva, which we never mentioned, and we explained before that absolute poverty was already alleviated, and Diva is what cares, is, cares for absolute poverty. So this is a point that we should be discussing right now. We should, we should be discussing how to improve like, the lives of the relative poor, which is exactly what we've always been going through in this debate. They might say again during Final Focus that I was aggressive. I didn't insult them. I didn't yell at them. I merely raised my voice so you can all can hear me because this thing sucks. I'm sorry. So they cannot accuse us of being aggressive. aggressive. And this is not something that should be debated in this debate or in any debate. Um, they accuse us of not, not giving enough numbers for, for Senator Pads. However, I explained before that they have misunderstood our point. Senator Pads doesn't lack of Senator Pads to cause poverty. It's, it's just that women have period poverty, and this is, can be directly attacked. We successfully attacked all their points, but they dropped two of our points, and we went all the top to our points. This is why I believe you should vote for us. Thank you very much. Everyone ready? Okay, so my my.
time starts now. First of all, the opponents were being a little bit aggressive because they did not let us speak at all during all three of the crossfires. Crossfires is about asking and answering questions that you have about like the other people's contentions. However, they did not ask they did not allow us to ask any questions to them, like very minimal questions to them, and they asked very minimal questions to us. Instead of instead they were just addressing their contention to the to the judges, which means that they are literally uh, de eliminating the, uh, the the point of a crossfire, which is about asking and answering questions. And since the debate is all about a share of knowledge, and it's not about like just presenting your point of view, but actually sharing knowledge between people, the opponents have actually <coughs> undermined the essence of debate in today's debate. So there are three framing issues in today's debate. So first of all, although this is an English debate, we are debating about what the Chinese government will do. So thus, we should use definitions from the Chinese government, okay? So, and second of all, um, using our definition, they said that we never addressed the point on healthcare, and that is because using our definition of infrastructure, their point, healthcare, is actually on our side because our side is the ones that are providing social services to people. Okay, now on to the, uh, our, the second framework. Uh, issue. So the solution states increased spending on, well, uh, increased spending. So you have to prove that the current system would work ex expanded and it's currently under expansion. Of these two burdens, they have never fulfilled any of these burdens. They have not said how like healthcare services is under expanded and they have not uh, stated why we should, why like the sanitary pad should be expand expanded. Okay, so the root cause of poverty, we need to address the root cause cause of poverty in order to uh, assess the effectiveness of the different uh, systems and different contentions, okay? And they have never really addressed the rules of poverty. They just addressed something like sanitary pads and also like the housewives and stuff. And this is not about, this really is not effective because it does not address the root cause of poverty. And they never really directly answered our question about how many percentage of like people are in poverty due to sanitary pads. Thank you.